Okay. All right. We're You're live. live. No, no, that says live. See, David's helping me out because Dr. Pompa, when I do these things by myself, bad things happen. We know that. <laughs> Not today, though. But listen, we are here live in Park City, Utah. Gorgeous. At one yeah. of our seminars. So we are here before the doctors have arrived, but one practitioner doctor is here. And I took the opportunity because I got an email, Tammy, and Tammy Stewart, by the way, this is our Hi. audience, um, and I got an email, and it was a very inspiring email, and I mm -hmm. said to myself, oh, that has to be a cellular healing TV. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a really unique story, and I, I really wanted always for you to tell your story, mm -hmm. uh, because through your story, through adversity, which is a message of mine, and I always yes. say, you know, our purpose that God has for us you know, always comes, mm -hmm. you know, from adversity, right. right? And that is sure true in your case, uh, mm -hmm. because you and your family, and I'll let you tell the story, mm -hmm. but you and your family all were very sick, mm -hmm. except maybe your husband, right? Well, and he, <laughs> okay. but he was on the way. Yeah, it's that's right. That's true. That is true. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So anyways, and we're dressed like this today because we're actually he going, is. I got dressed she looks for nicer than me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I am dressed <laughs> like this. Um, but because we're actually going on a hike way up about 10,000 above feet. And uh, I'm going to teach him a little message uh, when we're up there. I'm excited. Yeah, this so, great. you know, adversity. We've got to put these doctors in adversity. But because things of value cost something. That's right. If yeah. it doesn't cost something, it doesn't have value. Uh, that's exactly right. So you're probably wondering, well, okay, you said Tammy's a practitioner that now does cellular healing and cellular detox, you know, and that all came out of the suffering that her and her family went through. So Tammy, start with that, you know, I mean, okay. start with that. And there's so many details and I know you have to be, you know, really hit the, the okay. thing, but I, I do want to be brief. Yeah, that's true. I am, um, you know, but I, I do want you to hit on some of these things because okay. I talk about, and I just wrote an article last mm -hmm. week that every one of you need to read, and it's true cellular detox, right? And that's at the right. core of what we do. Absolutely. That was really what we do that's very unique that mm -hmm. most even alternative functional medicine doctors don't do. They don't get right. upstream and get to the cause. And I talk about in the article the three amigos, or what I call the three big boys, mm -hmm. that get people sick block up their detox pathways right. and therefore nothing works after that. And there's supplements, no medications, you know, well, you encountered many of those big boys. I think we've hit all of them now. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about it. So take yeah. us back and let's enlighten them. Well, do you want me to tell you just a little bit about how I started doing this work? Yeah. Not just about our sickness. Because, Absolutely. Because that's where it all started. Yeah, um, no, exactly. One year and this uh, one year, I just felt God telling me, pray Isaiah's prayer. Mm -hmm. Here I am. Send me. And I said, no, <laughs> no way. No way, God. <laughs> you don't understand. I'm comfortable, and you have given me everything I need, and 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 everything is just wonderful. See, I was in my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know, I argued with him, and I prayed. I, he won, of course. I prayed all year long. Here I am, send me, not knowing why. That's a dangerous prayer sometimes. <laughs> it was scary. Yeah. It was so scary. Mm -hmm. And that fall, our son... I'll, I'll leave that part of the story later, but um, our son got sick, and then I had always loved nutrition, and one night, my husband said to me, you need to take this nutrition thing that you love and make a business with it, and I'm like, ah, I know, but I'd have to go back to school, and I have to, you know, learn to market, and I was no, it's too much work, it's too big, I don't yeah, know, right. and the next day, our chiropractor called us, and he said, I need somebody to help me with detox in my office. And by then we knew that we were sick because of toxins. Mm -hmm. Who was going to help us get well? Yeah. I had to do it because there was nobody mom, else. Right? I, nobody else. When there's nothing else, you have to stand up and say, okay, God, I guess this is what you wanted yeah. me to do. You know, hit me in the head with it. So of course I said, yes, I will do this. So I worked with him a few years and then I, and then we split and I'm starting to come now. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's when you're not feeling well, it's it's hard to go in that direction. It's it's yeah. hard because you know I mean you know yeah God's called just something bigger. You have a sense in your heart that it's this, but you know, when you're just not feeling right, it's very mm -hmm. hard to make those decisions. Yeah. You know, and, and it's especially for a mom. It's not just you. Your children. Will Absolutely. Well, we didn't have a choice. He yeah. brought us to that point, and all along my journey, there have been times when he didn't give me a choice because. He knew if I had had a choice, I wouldn't. I would have chosen the easy way. Yeah. And I would not have been obedient. Yeah. 
So there were lots of times that I didn't have a choice. But it started when um, our high school son, our oldest son, got sick, and he came to us and said that he was feeling depressed. And um, God has blessed our home with peace and love. And the first thing I thought was that it was an emotional problem, and I didn't understand. And then, and our other kids were having other issues, and our chiropractor was watching all this. And he said, Tammy, there is something going on, because he had been coming to your seminars mm, okay. for a couple of I years. I forgot about that, remember? but I do recall now as you say the story. So he yeah. knew. He knew what the problem was. And so, and, and he was just such a gift from God to us mm -hmm. that he, you had shared the truth with him. And he How many listened. years ago was that? That was, when he was with you, probably 10. 10 years I ago. started wow. this journey probably eight, eight or nine. Mm -hmm. And so he said, you, I'm looking at your family. There's a toxicity problem somewhere. Mm -hmm. And we took the VC, Stephen took the VCS test. The visual contrast test that I talked yeah, about in episode 73 mm -hmm. <laughs> on the mold. But right. Anyways, he took the test and failed. So that told us there was mold mm -hmm. in our house. And um, God provided, there was a man in our church who I knew had done mold remediation. Mm -hmm. And I, I knew somebody who knew him. Somebody I knew was a mold expert witness, tes testified in court right. about mold. So I called him, put me in touch with the other guy. He walked through our house. God just blessed us. That was an absolute gift yeah. God. He watched their house and told us where the money was. Wow. My husband so, was unemployed. It's really so easy for <laughs> exactly. us. Exactly. testing, case, can't find it. This test, that test. My clients come to me and say, how do I find mold? And I can't say, yeah. I can't say this is how I did it because uh -huh. he doesn't do it. And he's, it made him sick. Oh, you know? Yeah. He can't do yeah. it anymore. He gets sick. Matter of fact, I found that most of these guys that come in and test for mold, mm -hmm. they're all sick. They're sick. Yeah, they're all sick. You're looking at them. And, and they, they, they always say the it. same thing. They always go, well, it doesn't affect me. And, you and you're looking at them. Go, yeah. But then they start, by the end of the, after an hour, they start going, well, I have rheumatoid arthritis. Right. And I have this, you know, right. nerd. It's like, you know, it's like, well, you just said that it's not affecting you. Yeah. It's like, yes, it country, is affecting you. They don't know yeah, that they're true. sick because they're looking at their friends. That's the way we were. Yes. We didn't know that we had dysfunction in our body because we were the healthiest ones of yeah. our friends. Yeah. So, um, so he failed the VCS test. We found the mold. And my husband was unemployed at the time. Wow. And I, I actually remember that too. Yeah. This is like all coming back to you. Yeah, it's all coming yeah. back uh -huh. to you. And so do you think that we said to our son, I'm sorry, sweetie, we can't afford this? No. We would not. never have said that. Right. So we remediated the bathroom for five years. We had no floor mm -hmm. in our bathroom and we had no shower. But you know what? I ask all my clients, I say, Do you have two bathrooms? Do you have more than one bathroom? Everybody does. We yeah. God gave us another bathroom down the hall. Yeah. It was fine. It didn't bother me at all because his life. Yeah, no, 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 no. And he, we started doing mold detox, which is so easy. Mm -hmm. it, it, he got better so quickly. Right. Yeah. And removing the biotoxin. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it so is. Easy. The hard part. Uh, oh, the hard stuff. part was coming. <laughs> so then, in the meantime, I started working with Dr. Rob and learning from you and coming to your seminars and learning. So I had eight metal fillings. My husband had seven. Again, remember, he was unemployed. Yeah, right. And I cashed in a 401k, got the metal out of my mouth. Um, he, he did something else and got the metal out of his mouth. Okay, so okay, I, 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 I have to stop you there because, you know, people who come to me that want coaching, right, um, most often they have financial challenges oh, because sure. they've been sick they've been and sick. work, right? And it, we were and, fortunate that we had not ever gone to the metal yeah. We had not wasted any money there. But you know, I, I, I think it is like when your back's up against the wall. I, I call these three percenters, right? Right. You know, my wife and I, we didn't have money either at this point when I was sick. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we went into debt $180,000. I'm not recommending yeah. anyone do that. But the point was, is I knew that I knew yes. that I, I would rather be, you know, broke yes. this or that You're than, worth than, it. than live my life like this. Absolutely. You, you had no money. You found, Your husband mm -hmm. was unemployed. You found mm -hmm. money to get rid of the mold, right. remediate the home, right. and do. Exactly. We yeah. had to. Yeah, you had to. See, so you know, that's the way three percenters say. I don't care. Do I have it. to do it. You have to God will provide, and you just move God forward. provided. Yeah. Oh, we just goodness. had a testimony last week. So I don't know if you times. saw the show. Yes, I did. The woman on the show last so week's show said the exact same yes. thing. Didn't know God yes. provided. Yeah. There were so many months when I would spend our last dollar, literally, on supplements to detoxify. The five of us, mm -hmm. all three of our kids were really sick. Yeah. And my husband and I, my husband's father had died of Parkinson's, that didn't happen overnight in your body. It was already happening mm -hmm. in his body. 
Yeah. We could, I couldn't wait. Yeah. My grandmother died of Alzheimer's, and by then we knew what real health looked like, and we knew we did not have it. Yeah. Even though people thought we did, we did not. So every month, God provided. Yeah. Every single month. So, um, so we did the Mulgrew mediation. We, we realized metals were toxic, and then our second son got sick, and he's the one where in the mornings. You probably haven't heard this story. He one morning, um, I, I thought I heard crows. And I'm like, why do I hear crows? And it happened again and again. I was having my quiet time before the kids woke up. And, and I walked down the hall. It was Jason. He was up in the bed, crowing, cawing at the crows that were outside. That's Jason wakes up like a bird in the morning. <laughs> and he got sick. And he was tired. And you know, um, Winnie the Pooh, you, you know what he Hold on, hold on. I'm just, so... That, but he did this every morning? No, that was oh. before. Okay. That was just an example of his personality. Okay, that's right. I didn't that okay. was his personality. Right, okay. He woke up right. happy. Happy, got it. He All was right. awake. He and I, right. the, the second day of, of my marriage, my husband said, you have to leave me alone until I have a shower my coffee. Mm -hmm. I wake up like a bird. Yeah. Jason wakes up like a bird. Yeah, he okay. was a bird that morning. <laughs> and he started sounding like you. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, how so he you knew he changed. Yeah. And he was tired. And to him, he was just tired. Bouncing Tigger to Eeyore. Yes. And I knew that he wasn't just tired. but he And he was always great at school, enjoyed going to school. He he called me, Mom, you have to think it. I can't get through the rest of the day. And I called your office. Mm -hmm. And merrily, by the grace of God, merrily answered the phone. And I said, I've been working with Dr. Papa and my son. And she said, Hold on a second, one of them has a phone. Yeah, she does and that. Got, when I'm around. Yes. So, some of them may have called. She, if I'm, I'm anywhere sure. there, yes. she'll be like, you have to talk to this yes. person. Save them. And, <laughs> um, and so you told me a couple of things to do. And so he was home a couple of days. But he had chronic fatigue. And um, his journey, his healing journey was longer and harder. And yes, it was. He, I <clears> clearly <throat> remember the summer that he got better because I got my kid back. He would wake up happy in the morning. And that's when I knew he had turned a corner. Yes. It was really hard to send him off to college, yeah. you know, to let go. But yeah. we had tools. We had air purifiers in it, and his body was healthier by then. Yeah. And then um, the third part of the story, you know, we're not finished with yet. Yeah. And so that's when it's really harder because we're still living yeah, yeah. When I was nursing Tara, she was born five pounds, but my grandmothers were small. My husband's parents, my mother is really small, and that's okay. To be five pounds, it's okay for God to make you small. And then I was had she a, born in the moldy house. You know, I, I don't think it was moldy at that point. I don't think so. Okay. I think it. I think it was. She was older when oh. the mold started. Yeah. But who knows when right, the mold right. started? I and mean, by the way, I mean you had um, eight, say, fillings. eight fillings eight with fillings. all your kids. And, yes. and just a reminder: so mom has eight fillings, right? Mm -hmm. That means all the, the children are exposed to mercury in utero. Now, it's right. not our opinion. That's scientific that's fact. Right. And then if mom has lead in her bones. Oh, like, I had high lead. Exactly. She had high lead. Yep. So pregnancy, you know, they lose bone, mm -hmm. in goes right. the lead. Now you have two metals working synergistically together. Yeah. Very high lethal dose yes. value. Okay. Very sick. Oh, and then we just add the perfect storm of a moldy home mm -hmm. in there. Yep. Bam. Three weather fronts. Exactly. Perfect storm in there's actually even another thing yes. coming, but yes. yeah. So you can just see how this whole family, um, I just bumped the thing, uh, how this whole family ends up all sick right. because they all had the three big boys, the three mm -hmm. amigos that we mm -hmm. talk about, yeah. hidden infections, heavy metals, right. biotoxins from mold. Right. Okay. So when I was nursing Tara, I had a metal filling removed. You know, we, we made the same mistake with our son Isaac mm -hmm. and um, it, she said, oh, I'll just dump the milk. It was a bad move. Yeah, it was a it really was bad move. We yeah. didn't know. She was born, even before that, she was incredibly sensitive to sound. So I know she was no, she was toxic that, at birth. Sensitive she, to sound is such a heavy metal. Oh, thing, yeah. she just could that was me. you know, somebody would ring the doorbell and she would cry. Yeah. And she would just just as as a tiny little baby. So then I had the had the feeling removed. So so we know that she had all those exposures. Well then and she started getting so much better. It took even longer for her than it did for our, our middle son. She used to get the excessive absence letter from school all the time. Thankfully, the teachers knew us. They knew we weren't just keeping her home playing hooky. She was really sick. One year from November to March, she missed three to seven days every month. 
And that started getting better. And she, one year, did not miss any days of school. So that was getting a lot better. Other things were getting better. Her sensitivity to sound was getting better. But then other things started happening. Yeah, she started getting worse. And I knew, I knew, I knew when you remove the cause, the body heals. Yeah. We removed the mold. Yeah. We were removing the metals. Her diet couldn't get any more perfect. I sent lunch with her to school every day. The kid ate what I gave her. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, she is. She, she is does amazing. everything. The work that that her mom kid, tells her to do, which that, is rare, uh, right? Because most of us, incredible. we tell our kids things, you know. Yeah, and but like, she oh. knew that she wasn't feeling well. She knew that she was, mm -hmm. you know. Hard. So oh, she, she did. She worked so, so hard. And then she started getting worse just a couple of years ago. And I knew there was a cause. Another another upstream source. Another cause. One, one of the things I always say to you practitioners, mm -hmm. right? I always say if someone's not progressing mm -hmm. like they should, right. there's something else. One of these hidden big boys, typically upstream. Yes. And you have to look somewhere else. Right. Because something, you're missing something upstream. Right. So in the meantime, you had been teaching us about the eye spot line test, which is a very new test that you've talked about on cellular healing yeah. TV a few times. Very accurate. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know, if she has it, because we grew up in the city, there's we there's no ticks. And I lived in the country, but I never really went outside. I thought if she has it, she probably got it from me. And I tested myself and I, I tested negative. But then I tested her and she was very hot. Mm -hmm. And then we tested our other kids, and they were positive. One very high, one very low. My husband was very high. Mm -hmm. I tested myself again at the end of a metals cycle, right. pulling out that biofilm, and I did test right. positive. Okay, so stop bodies. right there. <laughs> that just opens up Pandora's box. Mm -hmm. You know, something I always teach, whether it's my practitioners mm -hmm. or you all, mm -hmm. is that these things, these big boys that we talk mm -hmm. about that shut down the detox pathways, these aren't average toxins, but they run together oftentimes. Yes. So many people have been treated for Lyme and they go, oh, I'm still sick. Mm -hmm. And what we have found in, yes. in you now as a practitioner, that they have heavy metal issues. Right. Matter of fact, the heavy metal issues are what oftentimes allow these hidden infections mm -hmm. to exist because they are opportunistic. Mm -hmm. You know, many people that i read a thing once that they there's estimates that certain places on the east coast 90 percent of some of these communities are tested line positive mm -hmm. well why aren't they all sick because there's they're opportunistic the yeah. body's keeping it in check yeah. until well you know until maybe heavy metals people that have a lot of heavy metals mm -hmm. a lot of amount of fillings mm -hmm. this sets up the terrain where these guys go rampant yeah. they get into the cell they get into the organs they get into the brain nerve tissue and now the immune system can't deal with it. So they typically run in these perfect storms together. People can have silver fillings in their mouth, their body's dealing with it, getting rid of the mercury, it's not good for anybody. And they move into a moldy home, and after a few years there, the bottom falls out. Or we add one emotional stressor. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> silver fillings, leaching, or maybe root canals. Right? Oh, absolutely. And then, because they're very, very toxic, mm -hmm. they are in the moldy home, mm -hmm. and then the child, something bad happens, right? whatever that is. Right? That, that's completely well, out of your control. Yeah. And so I'm still so crazy committed to getting us all cleaned up. Yeah. Detoxified she, because, she was, trust me, yeah. Because right now, a couple of us don't have symptoms. My husband and my son, you know, practically no symptoms, yeah. yet very high on, on the Lyme test. And so... I still want to get rid of it right now because I can, because I can control it. Right now. I know what to do. We're not controlling the line. We're getting rid of it, mm -hmm. so it's not there in the body anymore. So that five or ten years or twenty years, because emotional stressors hit on this earth, there will be emotional stress. You no, can't get rid of no it. Doubt. No It's no going to happen to you. Yeah. And if the line is sitting there, yes. that's going to be the trigger. Um, yeah, exactly. These I call them hidden infections. You know, because you know root canal is a mm -hmm. hidden infection. Right. Most people have, have them. They don't realize they're getting sick. Right. Every root canal is Every toxic. Every single one. Yeah, they cause cancer and multiple other problems. Uh, hidden biotoxins. habitations, biotoxins, mm -hmm. mold. That you know, I mean, Lyme is a hidden infection, and yes. then there's co-infections that run with right. Lyme. You exactly. know, that is another problem. You know, and again, it, it's the immune system if it's healthy can deal with it. But when you yeah. have other you stressors, emotionally, you know, mold, heavy metals, mm -hmm. you know, then obviously chemical stress. Yeah. 
chemical if you stress. go to a, an office where they spray pesticides all the time anything like that i do it yeah and it's typically not one thing mm -hmm. yeah they come in packs so i mean we had taught i had taught her you know true cellular detox right. early on right. you know this is how you truly get rid of heavy metals you saw your your kids yourself progressing mm -hmm. these things went away mm -hmm. and then it's like you know it starts with mold then it's mm -hmm. like okay the metals are the next right. thing we went through the metals right. and then you get you know hit with the line yes you know to why okay why are we still yet not progressing right you know it ends up to be the line right. and um uh, your health has transformed right. and, you know, absolutely tremendously you know and um, we're not finished yet yeah no, no, we I, are we are completely well you know i mean i i think that i maybe it was a year ago now but um you know, you had some skin things going on, and, and at one of the seminars we were testing staff. Oh, right. Yeah, remember right. we, we right. were actually right. testing for microbiome because you know your microbiome, you you can test it on your skin, you can test it in your gut, you can uh -huh. test it anywhere. So we just did some we random. Tested my nose. Yeah. Okay. In so random, nose. we had choices where we wanted to test our bacteria because remember, on your skin is a microbiome, meaning mm -hmm. good and bad bacteria that mm -hmm. makes up our immune system. So we can literally analyze our microbiome here as a reflection of what's going on in the body. I remember when our plates came back. <laughs> Yours was growing something very odd. Uh, yes. And you know, I remember huge. Dr. Shane and myself. I saw the look on your face. I was like, yeah. oh dear, something, Dr. Shane and myself. Happened. I looked at it. I, I think I had said to him, I'm like, this isn't normal. Uh -huh. what, what is it? And he looks at it and he says, staff. Yeah. That's staff. Uh -huh. So your microbiome here had a oh, plethora of staff. I had that that huge rash and you can still see right there yeah. when you know where it is you can see the scar mm -hmm. that's from the burn I had burned my arm and then within a couple of days I had this I some nights I wanted to cut my arm off I cried it hurt so bad when I have clients who say I'm itching I say I know how yeah, you yeah, feel right. believe me and it nothing I did helped nothing I did all the essential oils I did I you know all the homeopathics all that stuff yeah. didn't make it feel better because so I wasn't getting to the cause. You were upstream. Yeah, you were upstream. And um, I started spraying ASEA on it. That's the only thing that ever made it feel better. Yeah. And then it would go away and it would come back and it would go away. And that. And then I had it tested it went into my hands. I had it found an MD who tested it, mm -hmm. and it came, and he said, "No, you don't have staff." Mm -hmm. And I said, "But I know that I did in my nose because I was tested." And he said, "But you haven't been in a hospital." And he said, in all my 35 years of practice, I have never seen a case of staff outside the hospital. I wasn't saying MRSA. I was yeah, saying staff. staff. Right. And I said, please test. You told me you would do the test. Please just do the test. No, I don't want the antibiotic. I just want you to test. And he did a test, mm -hmm. and it came back positive mm -hmm. on my hand. Yeah. yeah. And it was on my One time I yeah. talked, the joker is on my lips. But yeah, you know, but what I want people to understand is most people would have this. They would end up on the antibiotic. Right? Oh yeah, and yeah, I wouldn't course. take it. <clears throat> and then what happens? That that makes the microbiome in here makes it worse. worse. Doesn't yeah. solve the problem. Uh, temporarily, it might clear up, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, isn't this the way of modern medicine, right? It's like oh, staff fix. kill it. You know, mm -hmm. not so simple. No, you had staff. Every one of us has staff. Oh sure. Yeah, I mean, it's like we all have staff strep. I, if we can analyze my thing, we all have sure. strep, right? It's mm -hmm. so. Why does all of a sudden strep keep coming back in people? Well, it's because their immune system is not right, right right so you had staff because something was keeping your immunity down right. affecting your microbiome mm -hmm. good and bad bacteria yeah. so of course you with your knowledge were you know let's go upstream you know because there's got to be a cause when, when i see staff and i see these infections i always know they run with heavy metal mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. i mean you knew okay I have to continue my heavy metals, right? But you know, obviously, it could have been the line. It could have been a combination. You know, it's a, it's a combination, the perfect right? storm. Yeah, and that was keeping her immune system mm -hmm. down, which now allows more co-infections. And then I got the burn, and it came out. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, you know, I have to say, you know, this, you know, uh, there's a few things, and this part of it, you hate when I say this, but you know, she was just a house mother <laughs> i do i hate it when he says that yeah. because only a man could say that yeah <laughs> <laughs> but i don't say it out of disrespect and that's because the only reason i let you get by with it thank you yeah. because i know <laughs> that you know that was that's the hardest job no but it is the hardest job <laughs> and it's the I, most I, important I only work. say it because in front of me are all these doctors with yes. all these degrees right that's right yeah all these degrees right? this degree that's great right. and then i see sammy and you know and i'm the one who's saying 
Remove the source. Remove yeah. the source. Yeah, remove exactly. The source. And somehow she gets it. I mean, granted, you were my clients, right? You were my patient. Right. I, I, you know, I helped you and your family. Yes. You know, and you know, in and that I helped. had to do it because I had no other option. Yeah, I didn't know what else to do. Yeah, except that I knew that God didn't forget to put a drug tree in the garden. Exactly. Drugs are not right. the solution. God put healing in the body. No doubt. And you know, and you are the ones. She reminds these doctors, trust me, she does. You gotta go upstream. It's not about even giving another supplement. You've got to go upstream. Because mm -hmm. that's what gave you and your family your life back, right. right? You know, and it's like you just have that inrooted in you. And mm -hmm. you know, and, and I have to say this, I mean, now here you are a practitioner, um, through adversity. Yes. You know, you, you're like mine, I mean, even though I have the degree, I've had the schooling, I always say my my authority does not come from any of that. You know, most of it, all of it, really doesn't apply to anything I do today. Mm -hmm. It all came out of my adversity. Mm -hmm. So, right, equally qualified here, right? right? Matter of fact, honestly, because of this, you may be more qualified because, you know, I'm so crazy committed, yeah. passionate, and I do have the education, working on my masters, you know, and but the education from yeah. you, and I didn't want and don't want to go back to school and get a certification where they're teaching things that aren't true Correct. because they're going to teach you that fat is bad and that's not true mm -hmm. and they're going to teach you that when you've got high cholesterol you need a drug to bring it down and that's not true when my client has high cholesterol i want to know god put cholesterol in your body right. the cholesterol is doing the right thing mm -hmm. we have to find out why the cholesterol is high Solve the source. Remove right. the source. Well, and, and when she says high cholesterol, she's talking about particles. Mm -hmm. You know, because she understands that it's right. not just high. It's I mean, not high, just that number. Yeah, the, the number, number means that nothing. Do any right. Good. It's, it, we're talking about high particles. There's mm -hmm. a reason for right. that, right? There's yes. a reason for that, and mm -hmm. we see it in people who have other challenges. Yeah. That distract their liver and how the body's trying fat. to heal, right. and that's why the cholesterol is there. Yeah. And we, so, well, we even see I, when I was sick. I all of a sudden I had low cholesterol, which is not good. It's an open no. window for neurotoxins right. to go here, and I thought it was a good thing. Right? And then all of a sudden, I remember when I was trying to find my way out of my own sickness. I went to um, a friend of mine. He ran a bunch of blood tests, and he says, "Wow, your your cholesterol is really high. That that's really all your blood work showed." Mm -hmm. I'm like, "My cholesterol is high," mm -hmm. and your platelets were a little low. Mm -hmm. I'm like, "What was my cholesterol? It was like 280, maybe 278 or something," and I was like. That's really weird. That's yeah. like a hundred to where it Well, what I had found out later is that the body will raise up the cholesterol to protect the brain mm -hmm. because the, it's dealing with neurotoxins. Yeah. Uh, and oftentimes, people that end up in neurodegenerative conditions, they, they, they see that same pattern. They go to their doctor and they get thrown on a statin. Mm -hmm. And what happens is it forces the cholesterol down and then they end up, the neurotoxins cross into the brain. Right. And up with the so yeah. there, there is a reason why Absolutely. cholesterol can go up all of a sudden. And my part of my my purpose, also the passion inside of me, was from watching my grandparents. Yeah. My grandmother got Alzheimer's, and when we did our very first he uh, heavy metals test, my aluminum was off the chart. And now we I know didn't that. mercury, yeah. of course, yeah. we know now mercury is right. the real cause. But back then, we were thinking, and everybody, I mean, society, yeah. I can ask a whole my whole audience at one of my talks what metal causes Alzheimer's, aluminum. and they all know aluminum. aluminum. Yeah. And my aluminum was off the chart, and I watched her get sick, and my daddy was by himself, and he had to take care of her. And I said, that is not going to be me. My kids are not going to be taking care of me. And then we watched my father-in-law with Parkinson's. was a five-year nightmare. Yeah. And then my stepfather got esophageal cancer, and that was six months that he should have just, if he, he, should, if he could have just gone to heaven before that, all that pain. And I'm not going to be there. That is not God's yeah, plan. Absolutely. Dysfunction break, is not up. God's plan. Yeah. He put healing inside of us. And how many of your clients, and my clients said, have prayed, dear God, please just help me get well. Just send me the answer. And he already put it. It's already inside the body. He already answered the question. He already gave it to you. Yeah, no doubt. Just have to move, move, move the interference. The body doesn't heal. Absolutely. Yeah. You see, she keeps going back to that. So she is an amazing mm -hmm. practitioner. You know, it's um, it's really amazing to me. You know, how many doctors, even alternative doctors, right. you know, really miss that major point. They don't you know. know. And, uh, they don't know. You know. 
the source of the problem. The, those articles that I talked about at the beginning of the show, True Cellular Detox, I mean, that's why I read it. Because yes. that's what gave you your right. life back, right? Exactly. Yeah. I and mean, that's what gave me my life back. Right. The, the five R's is a roadmap to fixing the cell. And, Absolutely. you know, you actually hit on something. I don't know if I've talked a lot about this in a lot of the shows, but, you know, we understand, you know, sin is inherited. They say four generations, right. the Bible talks about, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the sins of the father, the sins of the grandfather. You know, it's like we often look at our patterns mm -hmm. that we don't like, and we can look at our parents. And oftentimes, it's not even with our parents, it's even our grandparents. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes these things skip a generation. Well, we know that the epigenetics is like how the genomes change. That can be inherited to the next generation, right. and often that skips a generation. Mm -hmm. Well, toxins are the same thing. Yeah. You know, lead affects, they say, four generations. Mm -hmm. It even changes the genome mm -hmm. in four generations, mm -hmm. right? You know, you're stopping something. Yeah. You're stopping something that's been inherited. The lead, the aluminum, yep. everything. For so my grandkids. The physical, it's not just the, the sin pattern, right. but the physical stuff. My mm -hmm. wife gave her lead to my children. Right. We stopped that. Mm -hmm. You know, but oftentimes we think of our sickness just to what we did in our life. Mm -hmm. But your sickness is often, no, most often are what started in your parents, grandparents, parents, parents. Right. <laughs> then it's, it, the gene is turned on and it goes down. This, the gap. There's a gap mm -hmm. in the science, in the research world, the science and the research mm -hmm. in what's happening in medicine right now. You know, we know that we can turn on these genes. Right. We know that we can turn them off. Right. But why isn't anyone doing that? You know, yeah. the five R's. Because it's hard. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's hard. hard. You have to, you have to change so things. Hard. Yeah. Right. You have to change it's things. It's worth it. True cellular detox, the five R's, it changes the genome. You Absolutely. Know, it, it detoxes the, the, the cell. Healing. Yeah, it is. And it's upstream healing. So... Well, I mean, we could, you and I could talk all day because, you know, you know a lot about True Cellular Detox. You know a lot about the five R's, the cell healing. You do it every day with these challenge clients that come to you. Right. And, um, but I just want to end this because mm -hmm. I said there's two things that I love about her, Your, her persistency. I'm definitely yeah. I, persistent. I, I, you know, I, I said, yeah, I love the fact that she came just as a house mom who now is like, you know, you know, helping all these amazing, you know, because sick I was people. obedient to God. Yeah, no um, doubt. You was your. He didn't give me a choice, but. <laughs> <laughs> but you've never met a more persistent woman. I'm going to tell right. you when when the mom is sick and then the kids and they all her kids and the challenges mm -hmm. and how she did it. I, yeah. I I've always just laid in awe of you, honestly. You know, let me uh, tell you a short story. Uh -huh, go I grew up on a ranch, uh -huh. and um, we we would go out, and I hope this doesn't. I just realized this may offend somebody in the audience. I hope you guys don't get offended by this. But we um, we would go out and we would cut the calves so they wouldn't be bulls. Mm -hmm. They would be so we missed one, and we were out in the pickup and we found one. My dad loved his cows. He he almost named every one of them in the beginning when he first started with his cows. He would count them every day to be sure he they, they were all there. So we found one that hadn't been cut. We picked up the calf, put it in the back of the pickup. I will never forget this. Mama cow, right there. He cut the calf. The calf said, Eah! I thought that huge mama cow was going to get in the pickup and eat all of us. No. That was so scary. And that's who I knew. Yeah, yeah, wow. You touched my kids. Uh, I, I knew that was coming. Yep, absolutely. I'm all over it. Yeah, yeah. Because they are my God. And they are, they are my pleasure. They are work everything mm -hmm. yeah. no it does it, they are worth everything she has gone into her kids dorm rooms made them safe you know I, we were I, so blessed uh, with people at the college yeah. who, would, who, who tolerated me yeah right I those mean, poor guys lot, right? in the facilities department when i first called them they didn't know what they were doing but but they were awesome it's that intensity though because she knew that if her kids after all the work oh, all the right. heavy metal work all the mm -hmm. true sale of detox right. you know that we, we did with them if they went into that environment, it was a sick environment of chemicals, uh, which most dorm rooms are, oh, and mold, mm -hmm. which you you know you bet. She knew that it would bring them backwards. And the cafeteria. You know? Yeah, and the food, right? So right. You, you dealt with their food. Yes. I mean, oh, so. we did so much. We I talked to the facilities guys all summer long. They were amazing at Oklahoma City University. Got to yeah. give them credit. Amazing. We put special air purifiers. We put him in a suite where he had a little kitchenette. That kid committed. I would I would cook food. I would send it to him frozen. He had a little toaster oven, and yes, he ate in the cafeteria sometimes. 
but he ate in his dorm room yeah, sometimes. That's amazing. A lot of times he yeah. ate the food. So food. they may have got their lead and mercury from their mom, right? Um, and possibly the lime, who knows? But the fact is, is they got that, right? Yeah. I mean, they got that persistence. You know, I mean, honestly, I, I just, um, you know, yeah, people can make a lot of excuses not to do what it really takes, right? Your family would have ended up I can't even think. on medications. I, I can't think. Psychotropic drugs, right? Because they, depression. That would have been the good you, story. Absolutely. Good. You, you, they fought depression. They fought, um, psych, you know, major, major battles. I mean, I, from psychological to physical, everything. Yes. But you did it. Yeah. And, you know, no psychiatric because drugs, no it. medications. Exactly. You know, I mean, it's like, you know, how, right? People watching that are like, how? I'm telling you, they were sick, folks. They were challenged. You know, this woman and her strength, and, and, and that's where women have it over men. Because I don't know any man that could do what she did. Mm -hmm. No no man would do it. And I, I said, now I'm insulting a man out there. I'm but sure, but I, did, I have general. that much respect, honestly, for a mom who will fight. You know, for their mad um, mama cow. Yeah, mad That's mama right. cow right here. That's right. You know, but it was I always say it was your persistence mm -hmm. of digging those sources out, continuing to go upstream, continuing yeah. to go upstream. And your family, I'll tell you what, you know, your kids, yeah. they're gonna honor you, they honor you now, but one day they're gonna say how their mother brought them back to health. And now she's changing the world. She's bringing back people health through cellular detox and cellular healing, mm -hmm. you know, one person after the next. Right. You know, every other week, you give a lecture to about right. 10 people, right? Yeah, right. Yep, 10 people, and she's telling this story that I'm, right. we're telling you. Go back and Which watch is? episode 73. Mm -hmm. Watch episode 74, mm -hmm. 72. Mm -hmm. You had Lyme, right? 72, mm -hmm. 73, and 74. Mm -hmm. You lived all of those. And that right. past, we did shows on heavy metals. Yes. And please read the article, True Cellular Detox, because... Mm -hmm. That's your life, yeah. but now you're changing lives right. through that very concept that, that we teach in that article. Yeah. It's so, so exciting yeah. to watch someone who was bedridden yeah. and within just a few months serving God's purpose in her extended family. Yeah. That's, that's so rewarding. Yeah. Well, thanks so for rewarding. sharing Thank you with them for teaching because us. here's someone who had all the big boys. And all the excuses mm -hmm. that you could have used. If I can do it, you can do it. Absolutely. We'll end right there. And that's the truth, too. So I know that some of you are sick out there. You have a purpose. That's you know, right. You're God called. made you for a purpose. Uh, absolutely. And Hang on to that. Hang on to that purpose because right. you, it, the adversity is how we are sitting here. Mm -hmm. So God has something for you, too. And we'll end right, right there. So we'll see you next week.